What's going on guys, Envy here, and today we're going to be doing another tier list, um, but this time it's the Rainbow Six Siege maps tier list. Last tier list did pretty well, so I thought maybe I'll do it again, maybe this is kind of the videos that you guys like, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first one we have is Bank. So Bank, i say personally, I would put it probably as an A tier. Now, I know a couple people don't like Bank, but then there are people who actually love Bank, so it's a really... It's 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 a map that goes either way. It's like either you love it a lot or you don't like it a lot. So personally, I would put it as, a, as an A tier because again, it's been essentially the same map since the start, and maybe a little bit changes here and there, but there were no bad changes to the map. The map, um, even though you know it's a bit more defender sided, it that's fine. But as long as the map is not hard to understand and is really not um over made or overdone in a way like it's over um it looks very weird like emerald plains which has a lot of you know just little stuff in it does not look nice so that's where the issue comes but bank is a um straightforward map there isn't too much detail about it and yeah it's super easy to learn so i would definitely say bank is an a tier so next we have over here is border um border again is one of the maps that people are not a huge fan of personally i would put that as a b tier um and now that is because the um i really like border because i've um played on it in different ways different styles and i've learned how to play on it in my own style the rework is okay when it got reworked it was um, a bit annoying to get to learn it a bit more, but then it wasn't a huge difference than the previous border It was kind of essentially the same thing. They just changed it out a bit and yeah, that why I'm like, you know, it's a pretty decent map um, It's simple to learn. I would say border doesn't have any kind of other extra stuff that you need to look out for It has nice sites site layout is really good nice different ways to attack top floor and bottom floor So yeah, definitely a beat here for me um, next we have Chalet. Chalet is an S tier. Now Chalet is again a bit more attacker sided map, um, but now it's it's also a little bit I would say a bit bigger map. That's uh, or wouldn't say big in that sense, but it's a map that you know which isn't too small. But then again, it is a map that is really well made. It has a lot of open corridors, it has a longer corridor, it has open spaces with um, not too many small areas to hide within. So roaming is a little bit, I would say, a bit more difficult or hiding in this map is a little bit more difficult, pro probably, I would say so. But again, it's a map which is very well made. Um, I don't I don't remember last Chalet rework, maybe I'm being stupid right now, but I don't really see many much difference from the last one if there was a rework and yeah i really like the site layouts too of chalet it's just a map which everybody i would say loves most of the part time uh, it's not like anybody hates this map there's other people who put it as b or c tier or then a or s you know it doesn't go below that because it's a really well made map but yeah for me personally i would put it as an s tier map next clubhouse uh, clubhouse is an s tier I just don't understand anybody who does not put it above an A or an above an A tier, I would say. Now, see, um, I've seen people who actually hate Clubhouse and I don't understand why. Because it's so well made, the rework um, after its rework is just even better. There's only a couple rework in this game that are actually really good. You have seen, look at Consulate Man, that's the one of the worst reworks I've ever seen in this game but yeah clubhouse is definitely a map which after its rework just got even better so yeah it's defender sided but then again yes it has a lot of spawn peaks i know maybe that and that's probably the reason why some people don't like it that much but if you be on the lookout for the spawn peaks you're more than fine and again the way you can attack it is different various ways you can do it not even that you can defend it in so many other ways it's just a like the maps which are a bit more um open 
left open in a way for you to decide how you want to defend or attack it so most tra strategic way of course people just go with the most common strategies on each side but you still can work with different kind of strategies different kind of ways to roam and all um and chalet and clubhouse are definitely one of those kind of maps where you can test out new stuff and you know be more creative so yeah clubhouse i mean this map is amazing i literally if i, if I could i could play this all every single time but yeah definitely an s tier for me next coastline there's gonna be i, I think s tier is finished now i think these are only the only the s couple of s tiers that's gonna be there just Charlotte club wasn't coastline but yeah coastline is an s tier because again it's it's an amazing map just it look it's it's kind of the same thing as clubhouse of course it's not the same map as clubhouse but or anything similar to it but it has its open areas long hallways i really like the concepts of long hallways in a map because it kind of it helps transition from one place i mean sorry from i mean of course transition from one place to another but what i'm trying to say it gives you that buffer time in between and you can hold those long hallways and you can work with those long hallways as you wish so yeah coastline definitely up there again has its own um, spawn peak areas which you can do so which people might not like but i think majority would agree that coastline is definitely uh, one of the best maps in the game and the best map to play on and um, yeah all the sites are amazing different ways to attack again if you're in hookah everybody just you got to learn to attack in different ways than just attacking the you know the door on hookah so i'm just saying to people who are listening come on find some creative ways on attacking and yeah i mean i also attack mostly hookah but i'm just saying i'm just saying you know all right next map consulate we're talking consulate after rework it's a solid d um if you were talking before rework i'll put it probably b but of course it's after rework so it's a d the reason that consulate is a d for me is the fact that how bad the rework is now let's like when you go on the second or the first floor of consulate there's like areas where it's so there's so much happening at the same time there's like so many small corridors there's so many small spaces where the rumors could technically hide and take you out easily and like yeah it's it's a map which is congested with like so much stuff it's not super open again consulate is a bit bigger map so i kind of expected it to be a bit more open it was in the first um like the before it was reworked it was a bit more open i liked the way it was and i understand it has its own issues definitely it definitely needed a rework but it didn't need a whole map rework you know like with clubhouse they didn't rework the whole map or like with bank they didn't or you know with border i mean they didn't rework the whole map they did make some changes to it but where it was needed not just remove the make a whole new map you know so consulate is a d tier after rework the i don't like how roamer sided it is i feel like if you're a roamer on consulate and you know how to work how, know every single way of the map you're definitely gonna easily get two or three picks just like that and um, i understand people might say this is because you just don't want to learn the map people don't want to learn the map and that's why you know they end up dying but and there's more to it than just that it's just how the map is laid out it's not well made planes now personally it's an f tier for me like i i think a lot of people might agree that it's an f tier you, you get it on your ranked pool the first ban for me is an ember planes if it's there even if I have another worse map or skyscraper or something, I'm always going to do Emerald's Plane first. It's just the fact it's so much. Um, I I, will, I wasn't here for the when the Bartlett Academy or whatever, however you pronounce that uh, map's name was there. I wasn't here for that, but I've seen clips on that map and I kind of like that map. I mean, I look the you know, the videos that I watch according to those. I like that map, but again this map is looks like a worse made version of that when i first saw my planes come in i thought oh wow it's probably going to be like something similar to that and i think they tried making it something similar to the bartlett academy map but ended up just making 10 times worse version of it um again it's kind of similar to consulate in a way of how small areas there are and then again there it's, it's like a mix of small areas and then it opens up massively which i don't like i'm not a huge fan of um, I've played on it enough to know certain areas of it and how to defend it and maybe attack it in certain ways But it's a map which just does not appeal to me by the looks or by anything. So definitely an F tier for me 
for Villa F again you guys I mean by now you should know that I'm not a huge fan of those kind of small um, maps with, with no like open spaces you know that now so <laughs> an F tier for me. Yes, there's a lot of things you can probably do on Favela, and they did rework it recently. I mean, not recently, it's been a while, but, like, they did rework it, and I don't think it changed it, changed my opinion on it. It's still a worse map than all the other maps. I think I kind of like the pre-reworked Favela. I think the pre-reworked Favela would be D, most probably. But, yeah, after the rework, it just became a more of a downhill slope for me. I don't ever want to see that map away again in my life, but whenever i do play quick matches for fun i do end up getting do end up getting it quite a lot but i don't mind it that much anyways it's an f tier not a good map not made at all i hate being an attacker on this map hate it because bro if i fall off i'm just dead and then you might just people just might be like skill issue but like i understand what you're saying skill issue but like come on man it, it should not be made like that but then again i know they want to bring the favela feel to it but I just cannot. I cannot deal with that shit. You know, I got better stuff to do. <laughs> so it's an F tier for me. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. Fortress. Fortress, I would say it's it's more in the middle. This map, um, it's an okay map. Uh, again, I like it's like the way of its layout. Um, there's different ways to attack it. Attack it. There's, you know, different stairs. I, I like how it's made. And there are long hallways that I kind of like, but it's just, it's just there's something about it which does not take it up above a B tier. I think it's, um, maybe there's certain areas in the map which are not made well. I would say probably the more of the open, the skylight area where it's a bit more open, like this, uh, the sun comes in around that area. It's just not made that well. Um, but on the other side, it's a bit more well made. So I think it's this map is a bit of a mix. There's areas where you know it could be made a different or made much better. But then there's area which it's really good. But again, it's not a horrible map. I still like it a bit. I wouldn't mind having it. You know, again, um, getting it in ranked or something. But personally, yeah, it's a C for me. Hair food base. Who remembers the OG hair food base? It was one of the best maps. The OG one was one of the best maps. I would probably put it as an A tier. But current one, it's okay. I think the rework is not actually that bad. I would put it B. Personally, I feel like the rework was decent. I, I, it's just that I have sentimental values to the old one. That's the only reason that I kind of missed that one. Rework is pretty decent. Not too bad. I like it still. And if I get it, I'll gladly play it. But yeah. It, again, it has long open areas where you can attack or defend in your own way and hold. Um, it has that old hair foot base feeling, just a little bit, tad bit different. So yeah, not much to say. I feel like it's a B tier because again, it's one of my, it's one of the first maps that I think I would play. And like this, this the OG hair foot base was the on the one where you, you know, when you first join the game and you need to learn how to play it they take you to hair foot base with terrorists and that's where you kind of learn how to you know play different stuff like shoot your gun it tells you how to aim how to throw your grenades when to do it and all so yeah it was on her old hair foot base so that was the one of the first maps i ever played because of that so 100 percent gotta be a bit higher than i would probably put it it's just a personal opinion i just love that map it's just sentimental values to it all right then house og house would be an s tier let's i think everybody agrees with that but the current house is a c tier um it's an okay rework i don't mind it it's, uh, it still looks it kind of still is the same map there isn't a huge difference between the og house and this new house um but then again i'm not a huge fan of the basement of this map basement could have been done a little bit better maybe or I am think I'm just bugging, but personally, I don't like the basement. Maybe that's why it's holding back from the B tier. So, yeah. C tier for me on house. The basement is a big throw for me. Other than that, it's first and second floor are pretty good. Cafe. Now, cafe. Again, people are not a huge fan of this map. I've seen it being banned quite a bit often in ranked pool. But it's for me. Um... I would probably put it as a B tier. 
And now that is because Catfish, it's just one of those maps which is just not that bad. Okay, no, I think it's a it's a C tier for me. Now I think uh, I can explain this. It's it's a map which is too open. Now I did say I like open maps, but not this open. If I'm on like first floor, someone on third floor can just shit on me, you know, or second floor. I mean, can just shit on me because there's you can look down that um, the top. And again, yes, if you have two two brain cells, you would be able to just look up and make sure that they're not there. I understand that fact, but it's just I feel like that shouldn't be the case. In the map that you shouldn't have to worry about someone on another floor while you're just down there and yes i know that's just one part of the map just one area other than you know the whole of the map is different it's not the same that way but yeah i feel like that just is the reason that it brings it down from that brings it down for me from b tier to c tier that's the only reason so yeah that's c tier map for me moving on canal og canal that was a love the recent canal is okay i don't mind it it's a B tier. It's a nice map, well made. I think the rework is pretty, uh, pretty well done. Could have been a little bit better, but like the basement area, I feel like is. I know it's not majorly reworked there, but I still believe that it could have been done a bit better. Um, but yeah, first floor is alright. It's okay. Um, I know there was not a huge differences between the old ones, so there is not much that I can speak on. That's why it's B. The old one would probably also be B for me. But yeah. So decent map. Nothing huge um, about it. Nothing which stands out too much. But yeah, B tier. Night Haven Labs. This map, I don't even understand the fucking point of this map. Like, why does this exist? Um, I know it's a hot take. But it's an F tier for me. I know it's a hot take because uh, I've met people who are like, hey, Night Haven Labs is not even that bad. Night Haven Labs is not even that bad. Like, it's a good map. You you can, you know, just need to learn it and you'll be pretty well at it. And I understand what you're saying. I've played on it a, quite a bit of time, but every single time I just, when I get on it, I'm like, oh, I really hope I don't want to play. Uh, I really hope you win this game because I just don't understand this map that well. And I get it how people would be like, you know, you're just not good at the map then. And I think that's the reason I might just not be good. So personally, in my opinion, it's an F tier. It's just not that well made. Like, it's it's just a map which could be done a lot better. It has a lot of potential in it, to be honest. But so far right now, it's an F tier for me. Oregon. I don't think I need to say much as to why Oregon is an S tier. Everybody and their mom agrees. Oregon is an S tier map. Um, after rework, oh, so much better. There's just a couple reworks in this game that are amazing. Otherwise, every single one is shit. This one, it's an amazing. It's such an amazing map. Second floor, amazing first floor basement. Everything is so well made. There really is not a no a single part of this map. After it got reworked, I didn't even see the difference. Cause like I loved the previous Oregon, and after the rework, also I loved it. There was I just couldn't see no difference. But anyways, amazing map amazing ways of different ways to attack but yeah i just cannot believe how well it's made it's an st for me outback was a bit more of a d for me because again i understand it has those corridors that i like it's just there it's just that it's not that fun there are different other maps that are much better made than it and yeah defender sided a little bit i would say i think but yeah, it's, there's not much you can do on this map. Um, not many changes that you can make. So personally, I would put it as D. All right, so the next map is Presidential Plane. It's <laughs> it's an okay map. I mean, it, there is probably going to be a D tier for me because, I mean, it's not a map that you would want to see ranked. If you want to play for fun, this is a super fun map. You can play on, you got to get Klaus and Kali and just hold the, you know, the... Uh, windows but other than that there's not much to say about this map it's not on the ranked pool i don't it's not that i play that much it's an okay map if i was playing for fun definitely i'll play it it's pretty nice just for fun you know here and there i just play kali on it it'll be nice but not much to say it's d tier skyscraper now this map is a love and hate between a lot of the people is it an f tier for me 
I definitely don't think so. Is it a D tier? I don't think so. I feel like it's a bit better. C tier? Maybe. Maybe. And I think it's a C tier. Sure. And I'll say, a lot of people will probably put it as a D and an F. Now, I understand why people don't like it. It's, there is different, you know, it's just too much happening at the same time. But I feel like this map that I, have, I think I've played enough to really learn this map properly. And may, maybe you want to attack it that well and defend it that well. But yeah, again, it's a map which is which can be made a bit bit much bit better. Um, but the the defensive side to it and its attack side, I feel like it's a map which is a bit more balanced because whenever I played on it, there's rounds where I want to attack, there's rounds that I want on defense. I don't think there's a round that I've gone just being straight defensive, straight attack. So it's a really for me, I feel like it's a more balanced map, so that's why I kind of like it, because there it's not like something that I'll know, oh, I need to win, or if I'm on defense, I need to win because it's a defender side of map. Or if it's an attack, I need to win because it's an attacker side of map. No, I, I don't know what the outcome is going to be like, and that's what makes it more fun for me. So I think that's why I'm going to put it C. Stadium. The reason the stadium is D, I don't like the whole mashup with the or every single other map. Like, there's armory arm in it, there's, like... You know, there's border combined with um, fucking coastline. I just don't like that aspect of it. Like, I get it. There's not much to learn about it because you have already played all these maps. But again, it's just a map which I don't even want. I don't even know how it's on the. Is it? I think it is on ranked pool. I don't understand how this map is in ranked pool. If it is, because I don't remember if it is. But then again, I don't understand this map that well. It's just a map which is a mix up of so many other maps. And it's just a annoying ass map. I wouldn't want to play this. Um, I don't like the fact that it's mixed up because I like the uniqueness of different maps and it just being a bit of everything just does not make it more better than any other map or unique than another map. It's a D for me. But yeah, people have different opinions. Theme park. Theme park is a D for me. Reason theme park is a D. Um, it's it's a map which is just not made well. Um, after its rework, it's, I think it's got worse. I think before its rework, yes, it, there are different changes that they had to make, like you know that train area. I love that train area. It was kind of fun, but yeah, again, in ranked, I understand how that would not be fun. But yeah, they had to make a couple changes to the map. They made the whole map much different and way worse than I believe the first one was. So personally, it's a D for me. I wouldn't want to play on it. But if I have to, I don't have a choice. All right, then Tower. Good it's not in ranked pool because this map is not good at all. But if I was to play for fun, I would probably not play for fun too. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Willa. Now again, this map, people, this is a mix. I'll probably put it as B. Now, listen to me. Villa is B. The reason that Villa is B is the fact that it's just... I like the openness of the map. I like the map. I've played on it a lot to understand the map properly. So I understand the map. The, defend, the defender... It's a bit attacker-sided. Uh, I've seen that. It's a little bit attacker-sided. Defense... Uh, I feel like the sights on defense are pretty well made. It's just that people just don't know how to defend it properly. Like second floor of Asher room or whatever that is, which is connected to the other room, the study. It's connected to the study one. That one. Um, that a lot of people use the same tactics to defend it. I feel like it. They use the most outdated ones and attack through the uh, one. Because once you're defending that map and defending that side in particular, every single person firstly defends it in a way and sets it up in a way that um they're defending only that one door which is on the balcony but like i mean if you're in a bit higher elo you would probably stop attacking that door that often because most of the people start defending it so hard that they forget about their other ways point of entry you know so you'd come on a different point of entry you literally catch one or two people off guard because they just expect you to come to that one door which is like one of many points of entry so that's probably the reason why I would say it's a bit of a um, C. I mean, sorry, B for me is the fact that it's a lot attacker sided. It's defensive, like the setups to it too, that people should try out from different ones, new ones. So, yeah, definitely a B. Then we have Yacht. Yacht, it's, it's a D. I wouldn't put it as an F because I kind of like playing on it sometimes here and there. 
but other than that, I don't see myself playing on it too much. Good, it's not in ranked pool. It doesn't deserve to be in ranked pool. It's a decent map. It's a fun map. It's another one of those, um, you know, presidential plane maps that I would just play for fun if I wanted to. But other than that, I don't see myself ever playing it, um, actually playing it like a ranked map. So, yeah. Good, that is, I'll just put it on D. Again, yes, we have a lot of S tier maps, but these four S tier maps are literally deserve to be S tier. Charlotte, Clubhouse, Oregon, and Coastline deserve to be S tier. I don't think anybody sh would have different opinions. But if you guys have different opinions, let me know in the comments below if which other map would you put up, you know, maybe S, A, B, C, D, E, F, whatever tier. Um, if you guys don't like my tier list, um, again, it's just an opinion base, so it's not that deep. Don't take it that seriously. But yeah, this is my tier list and let me know what changes you would make in this comments below and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.